up everybody? Good evening and welcome to What's Up episode 63. You'll have spotted slight different surroundings for me tonight. Um, I've been relegated to the corner of the bedroom which is uh, really not built for Zwifting. Uh, it does have its, its perks though. I get to look at my, my Cervelo hanging on the wall for the whole time I'm racing. Um, but it's dark, the air circulation is not particularly good. I haven't got a big screen, this one's not working so I'm going to have to sort of crick my left leg, uh, sorry, my neck over to the right to keep an eye on my laptop screen. Um, so I'm getting all my excuses in nice and early as to uh, why I'm going to perform so terribly tonight, as I always do. Uh, this is the, well, it's usually a Sunday 4pm ZHR Great Watopian Mountain Goat Race, uh, but it's Saturday at 4.25pm. So, um, slight change of schedule, but this is always such a brilliant race. Even more brilliant is the amount of orange jerseys I'm seeing on the pen there. There are, I think I've counted about 10 WK, WK, WKG racers uh, in there for this race. So I'm actually feeling a little bit bad for anyone else in the seas that's not got uh, the same kind of team support that, uh, that us guys have for this, for this ride. Um, I'm sure we'll get to a certain point that it'll be every man for himself anyway. But it'll be great to see the, uh, the orange train rolling up the mountain. Um, so we've got about just under seven minutes to get started. I'm going to warm up the legs. I've got really squeaky tyre again. I've tried cleaning it. I've done all the calibration. Everything's right on the trainer, but my back tyre is really squeaky. So slightly irritating. Apologies for annoying noises all the way through it, other than the annoying noises I make. But um, hopefully when it warms up properly, it'll be a bit better. But uh, I'm going to spin up now. I'll catch you just before the start. OK, last 30 seconds. There is a sea of orange on this pier, which is really good. I, um, I don't know if they're all WKG riders wearing the orange jersey, but uh, it certainly looks like a decent showing. Anyway, I can see lots of names there, which is fantastic. We've got Stuart Woodsell, Percival Santa Maria, D. Lel, who, in actual fact, have I been saying your name wrong the whole time? Is it actually D I E L, as in Daniel? But I'm going to stick to D. D. Lel anyway. Oh my word, I've missed the start. Oh, that'll teach me. Right, good ride, everyone. So this is the C category, where we've got roughly two and a half flat laps of Utopia, followed by climb up to the top of the Epic KOM on the mountain. Now, what I don't want to do is burn myself out on these flat laps. At the same time, I don't really want to see that train of riders ahead of me disappearing into the distance. So I'm going to have to put in a bit of a kick for a moment, I think. Thank you, Zed Collins, or Z Collins from Team Type 1 for the ride on. Much appreciated. That group are a full 13 seconds ahead of me because I wasn't concentrating at the start. Hey, Bob Bertolino, another Team Type 1 rider. Thanks for the ride on, my friend. And Ed Angeli, another Team Type 1. Great to see you guys. Ah, and there is Mr. Ed Angeli, sitting right on my wheel. He's not in this event, unfortunately, so I can't fire a ride on back at him. But if you're watching, ride on, buddy. I can't believe I messed up that start. It's going to be a killer. Inga Backman and another team type one. Hey my friend, thanks very much for the ride on. Hey Len, WKG, Len Capel. He's in here somewhere. I'm going to guess he's in here about 20 seconds up the road from me in this C category. Do you know, I'm finding it harder to read without my glasses on this small screen, even though I'm really close to it. Struggling to read the names. Uh, Ed's doing a lovely job. He's turning me along for a little bit here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I know that's not in the rules. I'm certainly not going to say no, having completely screwed up my start. But any help I can get at getting back on the group. So the next rider in the race up ahead of me is uh, P. Santa Maria, also a WKGer. He's 12 seconds up the road. 
head of him we have Peemore, uh, Jim Pocock, another WKG rider. Hang on a sec. Thank you, D Gatsby from Team WKG for the ride on. So nice seeing these names that are getting uh, much more familiar to me now. Obviously seeing them pop up and Zwift Power as part of the team and uh, comments in the Facebook group and the YouTube channel. I'm starting, starting to remember some of your names. <laughs> It'll be a while before I'm fluent at it. Okay, so I'm managing to close back in a bit on Percy Santa Maria. Now, I don't know if that's him dropping back a bit to, to team up with me. Or if he's just pacing himself well. Could be a combination of both, but I will try and just sort of maintain the same kind of speed with him if I can. The other guys are not having to put out as, as much effort really. And all pulling away 20 seconds up the road. So here is uh, Mr. Santa Maria. No, that's me. Thank you, Megan Shower, for the ride on. Megan from the Ride On For Health group. Excellent group. All right, so there's P. Santamira right in front of me now. And then we've got a four second gap to P. Moore, who's the next rider in this race. And everybody else is way up the road. Well, that's all right, that's okay. There's a lot of climbing to be done. And that's where we can make up a lot of ground, I'm hoping. I do like the new ride on button, by the way, right next to the name, much more convenient. You can just leave your mouse over on that right hand column all the time. It's much more helpful. Hey, D Hunter, another WKG. Further up the road again, in that group of 20 odd, uh, 20 -odd seconds ahead, I'd imagine. Thank you for the ride on, buddy. Actually, I've been saying 20 seconds, they're all about 30 seconds up the road now. Whew. And D-Lel, if you remember from the last uh, Great Watopian mountain goat race that I did, it was D-Lel that was basically just pacing himself to keep me about five or six seconds behind him the whole time. So every time I managed to put the hammer down a little bit up the mountain, he had more than enough just to put me back in my place. So. It would have been nice to have been up there to, to challenge this time. But I'm really, I'm going to have to work really hard to get anywhere near these guys now. Hey, Cobra Satin. Thanks for the ride on, buddy. Okay, so I can see the lights of Jim Pocock, Andreas Dietl. They're all now nearly 50 seconds ahead of me in that tight little group. So if they're just going at their normal kind of pace, that's going to be roughly a couple of minutes by the time we even start the climb. But it's just myself and uh, Percival Santa Maria at the moment trying to work our way back in. We did just pass um, C. Cerebo, or Cerebo, I think it's pronounced, who is in their very first Zwift ride. So, well done to you. Hope you're enjoying it. All right, I think now's the time to use the old aero. Just keep up some speed. To ease off on the on the power a little bit. Although I've inadvertently dropped Percival off the back of me, which wasn't the plan. I was hoping he was tight enough that the arrow would have dragged him along as well. Maybe I hit it just a bit too early. Hey, right on cue. Thanks, Percival Santa Maria, for the ride on. 
Good job, man. Oh, come on. Whoa. Oh, no. It's knocked my fan down a bit. Come up against a whole bunch of orange and black, but it's not the ones I wanted to find. This is obviously another group ride that have selected the same kit. I can jump in here and get a tow for a while, they won't even notice. I'm not actually getting any other names up on my, on my screen at the moment. You see Percival and uh, Santa Maria and Cerebo, the only ones, and N Lab ahead of me, 30 seconds ahead of me. Okay, so now I think the first of the WKG boys I can see is R. Mickelson, who's just short of 40 seconds ahead. Hi, Jim Pocock from WKG. Thanks very much for the ride on, buddy. If I can get anywhere near you, I'll send one back your way. I don't think I'm going to be seeing you again now for the rest of this race. There's a there's a very good lesson to be learned from this one already. Pay attention at the start. If you're trying to do a vlog at the same time, remember what you're vlogging about. And that's the race. And that was more important than waffling away to the camera at the beginning. Uh, I've got a nice little feather I can use on the, the lump coming out of this tunnel. We're not turning up the mountain just yet. we will finish this lap and then a bit more before we get to do that. Hi T. Horan from Team ODZ. Thank you very much for the ride on. There is Mr. Jim Pocock. And you can see, uh, he's about 40 seconds ahead of me, I think. You can see another big group of guys about 40 seconds ahead of Jim, so we split up quite a lot, with mainly me being the straggler at the back. Right ride on, buddy. Here are a few more WKGs up here. We've got Andreas Detail, ride right on. D Hunter, just in front of Andreas. I'll keep going up there to click on the button at the top. And Mr. John Grasso, pulling away quite nicely up here. Well done, buddy. And even further up ahead, Stuart Woodsell. Obviously, the, he was the D category winner for the Lava Laps 110 race. He's got himself promoted to the Cs. Good job, man. And doing a very good job. Then we have H. Asnes. Asnes. So sorry for the pronunciation of your name. I know you're new to the team, so I've not been able to practice your name as much. So, but you're very welcome. Doing an excellent job. Here's Padrone. Padrone de Gas. Really ripping it up at the front there. And he is closing in. or well, not too far behind. I thought I saw, there we go. Mr. Matt Reese Evans. Right on, buddy. I better get back to myself now and see what I'm doing. Slowing down is what I'm doing. Although, I've pulled to within 25, 25 seconds of uh, R. Mickelson. And uh, where's Jim Pocock gone? I'm sure I saw him just a moment ago. He might be taking a turning. The sweat is insane. I'm going to have to get rid of this cap. This is another look mum no hands cap absolutely love them I'm not sponsored by them by, at all in any way just in case you wondered but if anyone is watching I'm happy for you to send me some free stuff from look mum no hands <laughs> Was that really my fastest 30 day sprint? That's terrible if it is. 
I've not been trying to sprint, but 33.8 is my fastest. Oh no, it's not. Last week I did 31.2. Not sure why I got the confetti then. Maybe that just means I was faster this time than on the last lap. Maybe. Okay, so just pop my glasses on so I can try and assess the situation a little bit. I've got K Parchment, is the rider closest to me. Then D Christek, they're three and five seconds ahead respectively. Then Jim Pocock is 20, 29 seconds ahead. With R Mickelson now 37 seconds ahead. And then we've got a group of D Hunter, A Bronkhorst, all over a minute. P Santa Maria had dropped back a bit, but he's now staying within five or six seconds of me. Now I remember this from the last race. I think he paced himself really well. Had a really strong finish. So that could be the tactic again. I'm gonna to have to watch out for Mr. Santa Maria. Okay, so M Yon is just a second ahead of me. I want to try and get on the wheel really, if I can. Now I'll use my draft boost down here. Try and save my legs a little bit. Just a little bit closer, there we go. Now hopefully I can keep up the speed and draft. Okay, so we've now got, uh, oh, just as Mark D from Team Type 1 gives me a ride on. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I was just about to say, We've, uh, we've ended the, the race as far as the event module is concerned. So we now have all 2,500 riders will show up on the timing screens. So that makes it a little bit harder to keep an eye on who you're racing against. Okay, so I've just gone past M. Yon, but I'm now wondering if they were, uh, maybe, it's the right kind of distance. I wasn't sure if M. Yon was actually even in the race, but I think so. Okay, so. We'll be coming up to the turning very shortly. To start the climb to the epic KOM banner. It's where the pain begins, but historically, also where I actually get reasonably good. So, fingers crossed, I'm not just put a curse on it, and uh, I can go quite strong up the up the hill. It'd be nice to try and pull some guys back in because at the moment I have no idea where I am in relation to them. I know P. Santa Maria is probably about 20 seconds back. And I know Jim Pocock and R. Mickelson were about 25 seconds ahead. Whether that's still the case, oh, I can see, all right, okay, so A detail is 54 seconds ahead. Obviously already some way up this climb. And it's now raining on Watopia, which is a shame. I was hoping we wouldn't ever see that. Uh, right, okay, so P. Santa Maria is 37 behind me. Jim Pocock and R. Mickelson are 38 ahead of me. Uh, and I think they're the next in line in terms of ZHR riders. Thank you, D. Lombard, 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 for the ride on. Thank you very much. Sorry for the emails that keep popping up on my screen, by the way. I've got a really urgent print job that needs finishing tonight or over the weekend. And uh, it's one of those clients that have about a month's worth of work and they expect you to do it in three days. So I wasn't gonna let it interfere with this race, that's for sure. But after this, it's gonna be head down, getting on with normal, normal work, unfortunately. But that's what all the emails are. I keep sending new files and updates and things. Hey, M. Simpson, thank you very much for the ride on. Here we go. This is where it properly ramps up now. Let's use this feather right off. Okay, so I've got a bronc horse from, the, from ZHR just ahead of me. Not in the WKG with his name, but rocking what I now believe to be the WKG kit <laughs> until we can get our real kits made on Zwift. That was awesome, by the way. Thank you so much guys that put your orders in as soon as it was it was open. I was really chuffed. It's so uh, it's so easy to show enthusiasm for something until it comes to the time of 
actually sort of committing to it, but everybody did. And some that I wasn't expecting, so really fantastic. And because of that, obviously we're all in line for a 15% discount. So, oh, it's fantastic and I truly cannot wait, cannot wait. Not just to get mine, although I'll be lying if I said that wasn't the most exciting part, but I want you guys to be popping pictures up as well. Just flood the WKG forum with pictures of you and your kits. And any other forum for that matter. There's probably some other teams out there that will quite like quite the look like the look of our team kit. That sounds awfully big headed seeing as I designed it, but I don't release anything that I'm not really pleased with. Thank you, T Russell from BBC. Is that BBC is in British Broadcasting or something completely separate? But thank you for the ride on anyway. I'm closing in now on D Hunter at four seconds. D Paul, who I think is right there. But I'm not sure D Paul's in the race. D Hunter is. And uh, R. Mickelson's just a few more seconds up the road from that. So I'm finally managing to get back on with some of the guys that I started with. There's a long way to go though. Hey D Hunter, here we go. Oh. Oh, I've already given you a ride on, but there you go, a little bit of extra camera time. Good ride, buddy. So hot in this room. Just don't get any air circulation at all. Got the windows behind me open, the fan right in my face. It's just so hot. I've been relegated to this room incidentally because my mother-in-law's over because she she works in Portugal for a few months of each year and she's about to leave so she's very kindly come over and uh, brought us all dinner which I'll have the second I fall off this bike at the end of the race. <laughs> okay I'm starting to see what I would imagine is either an A or a B rider now of F Cloutier putting out solid mid threes coming up behind me fast so it looks like the higher categories will be catching up very soon. I can see Mr. Mickelson's bright orange jersey just up ahead of me. Right on buddy, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Not very quickly, but I'm coming. F Cloutier now is just two seconds behind me and coming up like a steam train I managed to pull in now on Mr Mickelson and there goes Mr Cloutier right on buddy right on Mr Mickelson so I think G Makedo would be my next target but he's holding really good power he or she I should say There's another B, he's just gone past me, S McGibbon. I can see John Grasso just 19 seconds up the road. I might be able to get close to him, which should be good. Hey, thank you John for the ride on. I think I've already given you a ride on, I have. Let's have a quick look at you on your bike anyway. There he is. Okay, so I think that's G Mikado just there in the orange. So we managed to pull back in quite nicely. Although kind of matching each other's power. Here's T Russell from BBC right behind me with a GCN kit on right on buddy here is G Mikado right on 
Again, I don't think part of the WKG team, but wearing the kit. I'm sure there are loads of other teams out there that wear that kit, but for now it's just ours. Oh, I think someone's just giving me a ride on in the background there. Apologies that I missed that. Uh, there we go. Managing to come past Mr. Makedo on Makedo. Good ride, buddy. Right, I'm coming for you, Mr. Grasso. Hey, Mr. Colin Trusted is in here as well. Right on, buddy. I can't see you to click on you, but just saw your name pop up. I think you've already finished, probably. H. Summerson from WKG. Right on. Thank you very much. Again, I can't see your name on there. But if I do, I'll be giving you the thumbs up as well. Here is Mr. Grasso. Just coming up to the flat castle section. <laughs> John saying, don't wait to me. Trust me, John. If I look like I'm waiting, it's not deliberate. It's just my legs have gone. <laughs> Good ride, buddy. Okay, so next up we've got C. Rodent, 11 seconds up the road. I think he's managed to stay about that gap the whole time, so we're moving at a very similar pace. Stuart Woodsell just ahead of him at 19 seconds. Again, I think he's holding the same kind of pace as me, sort of mid twos, mid to high twos. Okay, John's managed to latch onto my wheel, which is good. Although I'm not really going fast enough to, to do either of us many favours. But we'll keep going. Okay, so G, G Mikado putting out some really good power. I'm not sure if they've just come back past me or I've closed in. I think I, I think I closed in and they're now pulling away. So good job, man. I'm nine seconds back from C Rodent, 12 back from Stuart Woodsell. Okay, so I think that's Mr. C Rodent just in front of me there now. Just about to reach, just as we get to the peak of this, this little ramp for the downhill section. I'd like to have been right on the wheel before this, if I could, but C Rodent's managed to kick up into the mid fours just in time to keep me at bay. Could be a very important move that, carrying good speed over the top. Okay, got the same again. Pull right back onto C Rodent. But I think he's going to crest this bump just before I get there again and manage to stretch away. And once again, he manages to put in a really powerful kick that I can't match at all. Okay, so this time I have managed to just get past Sea Rodent just before I got to the top of the, the bump. Good job, man. Although it's not a bad idea to be sitting on the wheel over here anyway. So, which he's doing. And obviously, you can get the advantage of the draft all the way down this bit, unless I just slot back in like that. We closed. Oh, we had close to Stuart Woodsell to about seven, six, seven seconds. Obviously, he's now on this descent. So, my best bet is going to be that horrible final climb. I'm going to save my legs on this, this downhill. Thank you, T. James, Lime Rock Cycling. 
for the ride on. And I give Mr. Mr. Rodent a ride on as well. Uh, Stuart's done a really good job. He's now managed to pull 30 seconds down this bit. Okay, it's just 800 meters, which doesn't seem a lot. But it goes on for a long time on this climb. Right, let's try and kick in a little bit. Oh, we've got P. Dana from the A group. Look at that, it's come past me as I'm not even moving. Great job. And uh, Jay Norson, I think that is as well. Oh, I can see Stuart Woodson just there. Just don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. 450 meters to go. Hey, D. Lail, thanks for the ride on, buddy. You've obviously finished. <laughs> Keep it steady. I'm closing in on Stuart. Not much, but just a little bit. Come on, last hundred. Come on. I'm not going to get him. Or am I? No. Great job, Stuart. Great job everyone. Oh, oh my word. Great job WKG. Just not enough. Oh, all right. Well, that was brilliant. I actually made, managed to make a lot more of a race of it than I thought I would after such a terrible start, but well held there. Stuart would sell right at the end. Great effort. Next time, buddy. <laughs> all right i'm going to wrap it up there while i do the fast roll down roll down the mountain thank you everybody once again for watching thanks for riding special thanks to wkg it's so hard not to show favoritism during those races i try to make this a video for everybody not just wkg riders but it's been particularly hard today but so thanks everybody as well as wkg that showed up for the ride absolutely awesome sorry i messed up the start but that might have actually made it more interesting. Thank you, S. Burgess, for the ride on, just as I, I go to sign out. Uh, remember, check out the WKG forum. That's where you can keep track of everything going on with the race team, the videos, the real-life kits that are now officially ordered. Um, if you want to jump in on that, the order is open until the end of the month. Just going to clarify one thing with it. It was a question that I should have cleared up right at the beginning. If you see that the delivery details are selected to, for, so that all the kits are going to the clubhouse, that's me, basically. The reason I've done that is I want all the kits to come to me so I can individually distribute them uh, for two reasons. One, I can make sure the right things are going to the right places, um, and I've got a couple of little, little goodies I'd like to stick in everyone's bags. Um, but mainly because, particularly international shipping, I've was, I'm able to source it a lot cheaper than uh, Endura were going to offer it going direct from them. So... Everything will be coming to me. So if you see that on your order that it's being delivered to the club address, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to keep, I've got no, I haven't really got a use for like 30, 40 odd kits. So I'm not going to keep hold of them. Don't worry about that though. I'll be shipping them directly from here. So that's the reason for that. But thank you everybody that's ordered. If you do want to jump in on it, like I say, it's open till the end of the month. Check out the details in WKG forum or leave your details in the comments under this video and I'll get back to you. Um, and I think that's just about it. Thanks very much for joining in. I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.